Yo, what's up, YouTube? This is your boy, Junior, a.k.a. Smoking Guns, out here in Tucson, Arizona, representing the Ultimate Fight Club, giving you the latest content in boxing and MMA news that is out. So, tonight's video, we're going to be talking about Canelo Alvarez in a recent interview that came out with Oscar De La Hoya, where he states, Canelo's KO opens doors to new opponents at 168. Okay, and in this interview, it states, Tonight, Canelo fighting at 168 showed that he can either fight at 160 or 168, De La Hoya said during a post-fight press conference. So we've already set aside the T-Mobile Arena for the weekend of Cinco de Mayo in Las Vegas. We have no opponent whatsoever. Zero. We're not even thinking about nobody. We are going to enjoy the holidays. We are going to enjoy our families, and then as a team, collectively, we will choose who Canelo is going to fight, whether it's at 168 or at 160. So he has many choices right now as we speak. And then it goes on later in the article where he states, when pressed during the post-fight press conference about why he's not seriously considering matching Alvarez against Golovkin, Jacobs, or Charlo next, De La Hoya responded incredulously. And then who's saying I'm not, De La Hoya said, we're going to go after the top guys. I mean, Canelo has been fighting the top guys. I mean, who fights Golovkin back to back? You know, Canelo has proven over and over and Canelo wants to fight the very best. We're just not saying now who he's going to fight. But fighting him at 168 has opened the doors to new possibilities, to new opponents. You know, now he can choose from a pool of many, many fighters from 160 to 168. So yeah, the pool has gotten bigger. De La Hoya told the Los Angeles Times on Thursday that Alvarez will not fight Golovkin a third time or face Jacobs on May 4th at T-Mobile Arena. If the former junior middleweight champion remains at super middleweight for his next bout, two of his top options appear to be WBA super champion Caleb Smith and David Benavidez, who was stripped of his WBC title after testing positive for cocaine late in August. Gilberto Ramirez holds the WBO title, but he said after defeating Jesse Hart by majority decision in their 12-round rematch Friday night that he intends to move up to light heavyweight for his next fight. England Smith would present a particularly interesting challenge for Alvarez. The Liverpool native is the WBA's true champion at 168 pounds, and he stopped fielding in the first round of their November 2015 bout. I will have an answer for you right after the holidays, De La Hoya said. You know, like I said, Alvarez just came off this fight. We're going to enjoy this moment. But like I said, whether it's at 168 or 160, there are plenty of challenges out there for Canelo. Quote. Now, after seeing this article with Oscar De La Hoya after this post-fight press conference, dude, it's actually a really cool thing to see that they are talking the way that they are talking right now. Because one of the main things that I was fearing was to see Canelo going up against another opponent that don't nobody want to friggin' see him fight just because he's on this DAZN deal where he's getting guaranteed amount of money and he's fighting opponents that aren't appeasing to watch. Now, with them coming out stating that they would be willing to fight the WBA super champion Caleb Smith or former WBC champion David Benavidez, dude, that would be a friggin' really badass fight to see. Either one of those fights would be badass fights. And even Gilberto Ramirez, Ramirez even stated after that fight, the only way that he would stay at 168 is if it's for a big fight. And what bigger of a fight can he be able to get than being able to fight a dude like Canelo Alvarez? Dude, that would be a friggin' badass fight if we could see any one of those matchups with Canelo. Because all three of those dudes would pose problems for Canelo with their size, their height, their reach advantage. And dudes like Caleb Smith and David Benavidez would be more than willing to be able to pose those problems being able to use their reach, being able to use their size because they're friggin' great boxers. And then you have a dude like Gilberto Ramirez who will straight fight on the inside with Canelo 
And he would make that a friggin' dog fight, dude. That would be a friggin' badass fight, especially having a fight like him on friggin' Cinco de Mayo, dude. That would bring so much of the Mexican fan base to be able to see that fight, dude. That would be a friggin' huge fight for Cinco de Mayo right there, man. But hopefully we will be able to see one of these fights because him fighting a dude like Rocky Fielding, even when I said in my last video, there was things that he could have did that would be able to pose problems to Canelo. But the dude went into that fight with the friggin' wackest ass game plan I've ever seen in my friggin' life, man. I don't know what the hell he was thinking. You got a dude that has the friggin' reach of Dalsim from Street Fighter friggin' fighting on the inside with a dude that's friggin' 5'8". Like, you gotta be friggin' kidding me, dude. But having a potential matchup with these three named fighters, man, dude, that would be friggin' super sick if they could be able to set these up. So hopefully, we'll have to see what happens. And I guess we'll be finding out coming the new year. So I hope you guys like the video. If you guys like the video, make sure to hit the like button. If you're not subscribed to the channel, make sure you subscribe to the channel. And if you guys have any kind of questions, any kind of comments about this, make sure to hit me up in the comment section and I'll be sure to get back at you. All right. So I hope you like the video. Holla at your boy.